Fear is being spread all throughout the world. We're seeing it in terms of the media. We're seeing it politically. We're seeing fear manifest now in the stock market in the recent volatility and this threat of everything that we know or think about as our reality, what was once stable, the economy is a good example of that, is on the verge of collapse. These are stories or narratives that are being spread out there in reality just to bring forward these emotions of fear and anxiety when our stable ground threatens to, to collapse, we become very anxious. That is very hard for a human to deal with. Think about living through an earthquake, living through a hurricane, these types of natural events where our very existence and the ground that we walk on becomes threatened. That layer of stability that we felt was always there all of a sudden doesn't seem like it's there. Well, that's essentially what's happening with our reality. Our reality is beginning to shift. Now, that shift could look like a hurricane or an earthquake or some sort of a storm coming through where your reality just seems to go up in this tremendous upheaval. And that is how this ascension process unfolds. In order to navigate in a time-space reality to new earth or new ways of being, we need to release the old. And sometimes the way we, we release the old is to experience it falling apart or breaking down. Now, the volatility in the stock market recently is just an exacerbation of that fear. We're seeing these um, cataclysmic types of, of events or stories that rock the foundation that really tied our reality together. Now, that fear that people are experiencing because it's being repeated in the news is manifesting in this panic. So people are responding to their fears or reacting to their fears in a state of panic trying to feel and keep themselves safe. Like I need to, to sell out, I need to gather all my money, I need, to, I need to feel protected right now because there's all of this uncertainty. Well, when we lean into a new frequency, we rise up into higher frequency bandwidths, we are leaning into the unknown and we get into trouble when we start to take our old beliefs with us, meaning we need all this stuff. I have to just wrap my arms around this, I have to feel safe. I have to sell out. I have to keep I have to keep all my money because I'm going to need it. Well, in a place where we're going based on love, you're going to find that those things are not as important. Do I mean just go out and spend and blow everything and not have any fear whatsoever? No, but it's important to realize that when you are feeling or experiencing fear and anxiety based on what you're hearing externally all these theories about the economy collapsing and the stock market collapsing and the world falling apart and all of this takeover and all this kind of nonsense that's going on out there stokes these fears. What happens is it really gives you an opportunity to feel this unconscious programming. It makes it conscious. We get to be able to look at it from a rational space by breathing into the body and feeling safe and secure within here by connecting with your lower chakras, connecting with your heart space, you can then look at these events from a neutral place. Now, we are going through this expansion process, and as I said earlier, the expansion process can sometimes look like things are falling apart. When you look at the market, for example, on the whole, over a period of many, many years, it has been going through an expansion, just as you are an expansion of consciousness that has been manifested in the market. The market's a great example to see this and recognize this because of its the way we track it over linear time. Now, we have an event or fear comes up and it causes a big sell-off and the market starts to drop. Just as you're going through your expansion, that creates space for the fear to rise up, a dark night of the soul to rise up or come forward. That's a period where you are asked to feel into your emotions so that you can reclaim that energy, so you can reclaim your momentum. Now, you don't go dive off a cliff when you head into a dark night of the soul period, right? You don't react to it. What you do is you get inside, you allow yourself to feel it. So with the market, it's a great reflection of a collective 
little dark night of the soul, right? The fear comes up, people react to it, the market drops, it's almost like a contraction, and then it will move back into an expansion process. How do I know this? Well, if I, if I believe truly that what's happening our, in our reality is part of ascension and we are expanding, our consciousness is expanding, I feel that that is really a good manifested thing to be able to actually see that process unfold. It's expanding. And during times of expansion, you will feel like you're contracting. You will feel that fear. You will feel that anxiety. It is important not to react to it, not to create a story around it. Now, stories are being created for you by the media, politically. All of this noise you're hearing outside, they are trying to create a story for you to keep you anchored into a lower frequency timeline that can be controlled, okay? So you have the opportunity to release all of that now, to get into your heart space, to anchor into your body, and allow this density to rise up and move through you and remind yourself that we are in a period of expansion. We are ascending. We are not descending. We are rising. We are grounding and integrating higher dimensional fields of consciousness, higher frequency energy. Your vibration is increasing. And in order for that to happen, we need to clear out the fear, the anxiety, the lower frequency emotions, the density that kept us anchored to a survivalist timeline, a fight or flight or fear-based timeline. So when we rise up and expand, know that there will be periods of contraction. They're generally short-lived periods of contraction. When you look at it over a short duration of time, it can look like a big drop. But realistically, when we widen our perspective and widen our view, you'll know that it was just a little blip in the road, just like the same thing that happens with the market. Again, that's a great way to describe a great analogy for the ascension process. It's going to go up and then it's going to drop and then it's going to go up. We are expanding. This is an expansive process. So know when you're getting tied up in the fear based on what you're hearing, whether it's a galactic wars, whether it's a collapsing economy, whether there's something nefarious trying to control your life, know that if you choose on some level to believe that, you are giving your power away to an external thing, an external story, an external idea. And you will then experience more of that until you finally decide to become conscious of these blips in your journey. Make them conscious. Realize that you have been controlled, not by others, but by your choice subconsciously to believe in others in what you're being told. Until you realize that, you're going to continue to manifest those same experiences over and over again. This is a time for you to breathe through the fear, breathe through the anxiety. Know that what we are experiencing collectively and you individually is part of that expansion. In order to continue expanding your consciousness, grounding more of your higher self, you need to release the fear, the anxiety that's been anchoring you to a lower frequency timeline. And how do you do that? You feel it. We don't react to it. We feel it. We breathe with it and know that this is part of the process. If this video resonated with you. Please watch this one next. Thank you.